The French opening ceremony for the 2024 Olympics had a lot of people really upset. Yes, it was gaudy, over the top. It had children participating in it. It had drag, lots of drag. Yeah, it was really cringeworthy. It seemed like a really dumb move on their part. But it was not a parody of The Last Supper. Anything that has a long platform and something in the center, you could probably say, oh, look, it's The Last Supper. But, I mean, look at all of the memes that have went around about The Last Supper, you know, like putting Trump in there and stuff, and you don't get upset over that. But this, oh, no, you're so upset. Drag and The Last Supper, terrible. It's, it's not even The Last Supper, but uh, let's not get, let facts get in the way of, of your feelings, right? It was a display of Greek mythology. A bit of a parody of Greek mythology, but still a display of Greek mythology nevertheless. You know, all of it was related to the roots of the Olympics to begin with. France likes to take a very different approach to a lot of things. I mean, look at Seacam and, uh, anyway... I find it interesting just how triggered a lot of Christians have been over this past year or past couple years. It's true that in Western countries, Christianity is made fun of more than other religions. And some of that is that it tolerates being made fun of. This should look positively on Christianity, but oh well. You know, I don't think that needs to change. I don't think Christianity needs to become less tolerant of being made fun of or just less tolerant in general. But, you know, to be honest, I think non-Christians should just try to have a little bit more empathy, as hard as that can be when there are so many Christians who don't seem to follow Christ at all. I'm not religious. I'm more of a pantheist. I think the universe is a giant living thing that we are just a sub-sub-sub-sub-microscopic part of. And as a result of everything being part of everything else, there's synchronicity all over the place. You know, synchronicity, like when you think of someone and then suddenly they call, right? Stuff like that. I was raised Christian, but I was never able to connect with the Jesus part at all. It never made any sense to me. I connected with all the guilt associated with what the Bible considers as sin, which the awful Sunday schools that I went to taught that to even think something sinful is a sin. But there was never a way that made any sense to have those sins forgiven. Key phrase, that made any sense. Had I been raised under Judaism, I probably would have developed better coping skills for when I think that I might have done something sinful. All around, I think it's abuse, downright abuse, to teach young children that their own thoughts will make them burn in hell for eternity. It's a horrible thing to do to someone. When it comes to the most important part of Christianity, that part that you're supposed to believe, the most that makes you a Christian, you know, the part that sets it apart from other religions. You know, the Jesus dying for our sins thing. What kind of trade is that supposed to be? What is, how, you, he died for your sins. Well, how does one affect the other? I, I fucking, I hit myself in the foot with a shovel for your mortgage. What, I, don't, I don't understand the... Imagine if there was a murder trial where, without a doubt, the person in question committed the crime. But instead of sentencing the murderer... They give a life sentence to someone completely different. Someone who is willing to pay the price for the crime. But the murderer just walks free. Would that make any sense? So, you know, going back to religion, should I take advantage of eternal crooked justice? As long as I attempt to believe that Jesus will forgive my sins, I can do the most horrible of things. I commit the most horrible of crimes. Do just, just awful things. And as long as I ask for forgiveness from Jesus afterwards, all is well? I'm supposed to believe that someone who was never introduced to Christianity, who tries to be the best person they can be, they do all the right things, is going to hell because they didn't believe in Jesus? These are the issues I have with Christianity as a religion. The way it's practiced by people is a whole nother jar of worms. Too large of a percentage of Christians don't actually follow Jesus' teachings. I'm thankful for the ones that do. Anyway, have a joy, joy day!